My name is Jody Dunn and I'm the project manager for the Links to Justice project at Black Legal Action Center. The Links to Justice project has been focused on connecting with the Black community across the province of Ontario. We've been connecting with parents, caregivers and young people and really trying to do a deeper look at their experiences in relation to anti-Black racism within the classroom and the justice system as well. We completed a series of focus groups across the province in a variety of neighbourhoods and communities and that was really for us to get a better understanding of what were some of the unique challenges uh, that our young people were facing within the classroom. We really wanted to hear from them in terms of their expectations around what they would like to see from teachers, uh, what they would do to change the classroom to create a more positive learning environment, and we wanted to be able to have that data to carry it back to our stakeholders. The final report will be available on the Black Legal Action Centre website in spring of 2022. Uh, what it's going to be highlighting is some of the key themes that came out of our focus groups. One of, the, one of the things that we consistently heard from individuals across the province was the issue of generational trauma, meaning that parents, when they were going into the schools to support their children that were, going, that were facing acts of racism, they were instantly feeling triggered when they were going into the school building. It was bringing up experiences that they also had faced when they were a child as well. Uh, another common theme that came out of our focus groups was that there's a number of caregivers, extended family members that are playing a very supportive role in working with children that are often facing suspension and they don't have suitable resources to support them with that. To access our report and to learn more about the experiences of Black Canadian families in Ontario, you can visit our website for more information. Society says that Black men or Black women are what? Angry. When simply he's a five-year-old boy, being a five-year-old boy. This white boy, he was whacking me while saying slavery 2021 and I'd buy you for $400 an hour. You spend six to seven hours in a space where you're made to feel like an outsider when in fact you should feel welcome. I do have a lot of friends who uh, unfortunately they dropped out of school. These young people end up into group homes, uh, again, not able to understand you know, the trauma that black children um, experience. There are many different reasons why black youth may end up in the youth criminal justice system. Many times, young people who have interacted with the justice system find a safe place here. This initiative focuses on the school to prison pipeline, connecting directly with the Black community across Ontario. My name is Tiffany Taylor and I am the Community Engagement Coordinator for the Links to Justice Project at Black Legal Action Centre. At the Links to Justice Project, we've completed a documentary that has highlighted the experiences and the stories of our Black parents and students across Ontario. For a lot of our parents and students, this has been the first opportunity that they have had to have a safe space where they can share candid accounts of their experiences when it comes to anti-Black racism and the justice, as well as the education system. The reason for the documentary is not only for us to create a space for students and parents to share their experiences, but for their accounts to be used as a resource um, in a classroom setting, um, for educators, for justice stakeholders, for parents and students themselves, so that others can see themselves reflected in these experiences, and so we can use these accounts to combat anti-Black racism in the justice and education system and make it better for our Black students in Ontario. To view our documentary or to receive a copy for classroom use, you can visit our website. The documentary will also be available on Black's social media as well as Black's YouTube page.